Well hello there uh, fellow model builders. This is my first video that I've done in a while. It's been a while since I've done a video I should say. Uh, but uh, I've been working on this uh, monogram F106 Delta Dart and I'm just going to show you my progress here. Uh, I started this uh, about three months ago and I haven't worked on it in a while and it's just been within the past week that I started working on it again. And uh, show you some of the detail here. In the old cockpit. Try to get some light in there. There we go. The For those of you that have built this model before, you'll know that the cockpit is just it kind of goes together a little bit differently than a conventional plane as far as it's uh... you got the cockpit tub and then there's side walls that go in there and it's just a little bit different I'll show you the instructions here in a minute once I get done showing off this but uh, it's just and it's it kind of hides the detail too. It's hard to see in there. But uh, there's the throttle quadrant. Really nicely done though. Really nicely done this, on Monogram's part when they uh, did this long long ago. This is an old model. This is 80s. Not this particular one that I'm holding. This is from the 90s. Uh, it was m made in the 90s. But this, this uh, design is old from the 80s, I believe. But uh, nevertheless, uh, pretty good detail. Uh, this is going to be the weapons bay where the Falcon missile and Genie missiles go. Um, you can build it open or closed. But I'm building it with it open. There's just too much detail in there to not uh, keep it open. And uh, there will be the main wheels. And uh, here's the nose gear with the uh, nose land, the landing light right there. And uh, that's about all I got so far. But uh, let me show you what I was talking about here as far as how this goes together. Let me flip this back over. I don't prepare when I make my videos. I just spur the moment, make them. So, bear with me here for a second. And of course I got it upside down. Just with the cockpit, you've got your cockpit tub and then you have the side walls that go in and you know, just I'm 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 used to building a lot of monogram models and just for a monogram model that's just uh it's just kind of weird. it's just not than usual and it just I like it it makes a lot of detail but the way they did it it encloses it in there and it just makes it hard it makes it hard to see the the detail and plus my camera doesn't want to focus but and the way this whole plane goes together is kinda I mean you've got the top part of the fuselage that goes together and then you have the bottom part which is there so it kind of makes it tricky for uh, final assembly when you're going to start doing your sanding and filling in cracks or filling in the seams and stuff. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that as far as uh, my procedure goes because uh, sometimes I wait to do certain things on the assembly. Uh, I, I don't do it in the actual order that it says to do it. I'll wait to do something up until almost the very end so I can uh, so I can uh, just do whatever it's been a while since I made a video so I'm out of practice so but anyway I just wanted to throw this out there and uh, say hi to all my uh, subscribers and all the fellow model builders out there that may watch this and uh, just stay tuned. I will uh, keep you updated on the uh, progress of the F-106 Delta Dart. Happy model building, everybody.